Cheddar Man was one of the first modern humans in Britain, and he arrived in Britain shortly after the warm period began, so sometime after the last ice age, which ended 11,700 years ago. What is so remarkable about Cheddar Man, who was Mesolithic in origin, is that his bones are the most complete and oldest found here in England and he had black skin and blue eyes. He was born almost 300 generations ago. Cheddar Man died in his 20s and is about 9,000 years old. The people who lived in Britain 300 generations ago belonged to a hunter-gatherer group known to history as the Mesolithic. They were an early group of Western Europeans. DNA analysis on this complete skeleton has shown that he had dark to black skin and blue eyes, which was typical of that Western European population. Cheddar Man was found in Goth's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England, and as mentioned earlier, his skeletal remains date from the Mesolithic. His remains were excavated in 1903 and have been kept by London's Natural History Museum. They are today on display in their Human Evolution Gallery, which is a must see for anyone visiting the museum. In 2018, a DNA analysis of Cheddar Man was conducted by, t by a team of scientists at the Natural History Museum in London. The DNA was extracted from the petrous part of the temporal bone, which is a pyramid shape and wedged at the base of the skull. On analysis of this remarkable skeleton, he was found to have blue or perhaps green eyes, was lactose intolerant, had dark curly hair and dark brown to black skin. His DNA makes up about 10% on average of the ancestry of Britons without a recent family history of immigration. Many people have shown that they shared DNA with Cheddar Man and his DNA is still available for comparison via GEDmatch and Cheddar Man's GEDmatch Genesis kit number is NW6414429. You can also find this kit number in the description of this video so you can go and compare your own DNA on GEDmatch. I'm going to complete this video with a little walk around of the gallery, the Human Evolution Gallery at the Natural History Museum in London. And we're going to take a little look at some of the many tools which are on display within this gallery. The collection also includes the Clacton Spear, which is made of yew. This spear point is the oldest preserved wooden spear in the world. Its owner would probably have used this as a lethal weapon, stabbing prey at close range to generate enough force to pierce the animal's skin. It was found in Clacton-on-Sea in Essex, England and dates to around 420,000 years old. 